Dear colleagues, you can see this is posterior subcapsular cataract. The nucleus is very soft in this case. So, in this case, I have decided to employ my lens tilt technique. Please watch these steps. This is the main incision. This is a 2.8 millimeter incision at around 10.30 o'clock. This coelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and it is spread over the epithelium for better visibility. Now two side ports are made. This is the side port on the right side and this is another side port on the left side. Now capsular axis is to be done. I am introducing the bent needle to the main incision, incising the capsule and raising a flap. Now I hold this flap with utrita forceps, go anticlockwise and do a CCC, a continuous curvilinear capsular axis. Now, hydrodissection is to be done and see how I tilt the lens. Hydrodissection, the lens is depressed, again hydrodissection and the lens floats. Never try to tilt the nucleus in the first attempt. And now viscoelastic substance is applied on both sides of this tilted nucleus. Now the tip of the FACO handpiece is introduced with its bevel facing the nuclear mass. Here it is. The chopper supports the nucleus from the other side and the nucleus is the supranuclear portion, supracapsular portion of the nucleus has been emulsified and removed. Now the remaining portion of the nucleus is mobilized and just eaten up. It is very safe and takes very less time since very little amount of echo energy is being applied inside the anterior chamber. Corneal decompensation, the endothelial decompensation is almost nil with this technique in soft cataracts. Now cortical cleanup is being done. A bimanual IA can be used. I'm using Simco cannula. These side ports are 1.4 millimeter in diameter and a 23 goes Simco cannula goes through it very easily. Now a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens is being implanted keeping the anterior chamber formed by continuous irrigation. The lens is placed inside the capsular bag by the irrigating probe. The irrigating probe is now used to flush the little bit of viscoelastic substance that was there inside the lumen of the cartridge. This is moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are hydrated to make these wounds watertight.
that's it the case is done we just have to do a final anterior chamber lavas with bss and conclude the case here it is this is the final lavage little bit of visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out during this final anterior chamber lavage that's it the case is done thank you very much for your attention dear colleagues we must develop our surgical skills my main aim is to develop surgical skills in the hands of the fresh postgraduates in this case the lens was not as not happy with the placement of the lens so i dialed it with irrigating proof and finally anti chamber is formed again and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in managing your soft cataracts